What's going on guys? So, <laughs> been, uh, <clears throat> I want to say slacking on the stuff, but I've actually been taking on a lot of projects. Um, but hopefully by the time you see this video, I should be caught up on the editing, all, all the ones I've done before. And uh, I should have um, two cooking videos to make up for you guys, which I'll do. It's not a big issue. I promised you guys I would give you some more recipes, which I will. Uh, that will be coming in the next day or two, so keep an eye out for those. But today we got back and biceps. I'm not back and biceps. <laughs> today we have a chest and back. Um, this is week 11, I believe. So basically this is the second week, second to last week. Next week is final week and that's it, guys. Uh, we're reaching the end here. So um, lots to talk about, lots to cover here in a little bit. Update you guys on what's going on with me, what I got going on, um, how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. Uh, what I think of the program and we'll be doing a close-up on next weekend Give or take I'll probably split that into two videos just kind of talking about the program what my plans are what I feel is good about this style of program um, What varies between this and the traditional p90x program all that good stuff, but uh, we're gonna start the workout here So we'll see you guys in a little bit Yeah, my favorite. What's going on guys? We just finished um, chest and back. Man, that workout kills you every time. It kind of sucks because that's the first workout you do when you start this program. Um, good technique on the push-ups. Make sure your back is straight. Make sure you're not bold. Um, I've noticed that if you tighten your quads and you tighten your abs and your back, you'll stay straight. If you're unable to do that or you want to get a couple more reps, go wide with your feet and it'll help you stay straight. Um, any comments, Omar? Are you good? I'm pretty good. He says he's good. Um, so lately you probably have noticed I haven't been doing a lot of vlogging. Um, I've got a couple videos that I should have been uploading with these, so you'll notice a couple uploads right after the fact. Um, those are from before. I've just had the video saved on the camera and haven't downloaded and done the editing. Um, I've been staying on the program. For the most part, I took a couple time, a little bit of time off during the holidays, and I took on a project, um, began tiling, which is, you know, whatever. Um, that was a hard job. And at the end of the day, I'm sure that that killed my calorie surplus. But, um, you know, such is life. Sometimes stuff comes up. So, we're going to back on track here. We're going to keep moving, keep pushing forward. Last two weeks, this is the time where you got to put up or shut up, honestly. you got to be able to kind of sit down and, and get these last bit of results out. Um, we're going to be tightening up on the diet. For me, I'm going to stay at my surplus, and I think I've decided that I'm going to continue my surplus through P90X2 so that I can get a real good bulk going. So I can get a really good six-month bulk and then shred up and see how much muscle mass I really put on. Um, as I've told you guys before, all these people that tell you you can put on 15 pounds of muscle in um, three, one round of P90X is full of shit, and it's not going to happen. 15 pounds of muscle, like I mentioned before, is a lot of freaking muscle. That's a lot of meat to put on your body, not with no fat, lean muscle mass, actual muscle mass. You know, go to, I mentioned this analogy before, go to the market and ask them for 15 pounds of ground beef and see how much meat that is. See, try putting that on your body. That's a lot to distribute. And to be honest with you, 30, 40 pounds of muscle on your body from your original frame, you're going to look freaking massive. For people to say they put on 30 pounds of muscle, that's an ass load of muscle. Man, what's up with my cutscene today? Anyways, 
that's a boatload of muscles you put on your body. You're going to look real swole and probably real cut if you stay lean. Um, you know, 15, 20 pounds of muscle, it's, it's a lot of muscle. Uh, you're going to notice huge changes in your body with that much muscle mass on you from, from a lean frame. Um, but I just want to keep this short. I'm going to give you guys some real talk tomorrow. Um, got a couple of topics that I've been kind of wanting to talk about, things that have gone on with my life that I've been wanting to kind of talk to you guys about and how that's affecting me and how I'm kind of getting through those things. Um, and so that's what we got, guys. So tomorrow we got some ab work and uh, real talk, as I almost do on Tuesdays now. And uh, looking forward to it. So see you guys tomorrow. Any questions, comments, let me know. And um, I'm going to keep this vlog going because I think, I hope in the future, any people starting P90X2 will in enjoy these vlogs and not just enjoy them, but also get benefit from, from having somebody there every day that you can just kind of see and, and, and go through the things you're going through. Um, but that's it, guys. We'll see you guys tomorrow.